pas en pite. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to think about what's going on with ICP and whether or not it's something that should be bought or not. Now, <clears throat> for uh, for the record, I do have a, a quite a fair bit of it and I've actually been buying on the way down. It's not something I normally do, uh, but the, the situation for ICP is still valid on the long term. And so trying to, uh, to guess the bottom is obviously a very difficult and so far unsuccessful event that uh, I've been uh, subject to. But the same analysis still takes place, and long story short, we take this to a weekly where it's on a tether pair or a Bitcoin pair, and what we see is, yeah, obviously a horrendous chart going all the way down, obviously you can't really see it very well because of this giant mega wick, but with every single low, lower low that gets put in, which is consistent, <laughs> we get higher lows forming on the RSI, and we've also got a nice divergence continuing um, every week, week after week, week after week on the MACD. So it is suggesting that this will one day turn around to a large extent and begin an uptrend. Now, we talk about, you know, turning around to a large extent and going up. I mean, <clears throat> what realistically could it go up to? I mean, you know, from its low or its general top target, I mean, where could it possibly go? I mean, at the moment, what we've got is on the daily, we've just recently over the last few days broken out of this descending trend line. The most recent um, scenario of... Um, of pullback so rejection 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 and well do you call that a breakout <laughs> i wouldn't call it a breakout but it, you know as it stands right this very moment in time the uh, the consolidation appears to have ended and it could lead us into a period of accumulation so if we think about if that's the case where were, where did we end up bottoming well candle bodies bottomed around 15 and a half dollars right with a wick that came down to 14 dollars 61 cents right so that, that could easily get revisited again. This is what I normally uh, would suggest when, we, when, when you're in these descending triangles, which is a kind of what this is in a way, but it's more, a, more of a, a consolidation that we've basically charted with a, with, a, with a trend line. So normally what you'd expect to see or what you'd want to see in a perfect world would be a breakout, come back down to these lower levels, uh, accumulate around a specific zone, probably between 20 and maybe maybe back down to 15. So a reasonable range, you know, if we think about if we uh, came back up to 20, came back down to this, you know, we're playing in a range of about 22%. Um, so that would be the ideal scenario, allowing people to catch the bottom once again and wait for this giant divergence to, to finally start to play out on the weekly time frame. So things look like they might be slowing down to, for, for ICP to the bottom. However, that remains to be seen. <clears throat> so we've got the consolidation ended, you know, in theory. We've got a potential bottom or a low of around 14 or $15. And we've got giant divergence on the, on the weekly time timeframes, which obviously could take months to play out. Uh, maybe even longer. And um, what have we got on the Bitcoin pairing? Well, we're still within, very much within this consolidation pattern, effectively putting in lower lows each time. Uh, and the consolidation uh, trend line currently has a peak of about 581 sats. So quite a fair way, you know, a fair amount from where we are right now. And again, the weekly, we've got that enormous divergence building on MACD and RSI. So the weekly still has that read, you know, like a giant coil that's 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 ready to go, but on a long-term time frame, which is, you know, it's good for an investment, especially when you're thinking about um, uh, the staking rewards, which are actually pretty generous for, uh, for ICP. You could buy low stake for a prolonged period of time until, you know, we start to see signs of life. And this should eventually go into an uptrend based on what we see there on the weekly and an uptrend which would be yeah, pretty decent and aggressive um, over a reasonable period of time. So rather than these you know, shoots up and back down again, this will actually go into a, 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 an official uptrend, which it's never actually had. So ICP is still pretty much the same old, same old. No difference to how it's behaved in, you know, in the past, no different to how it's behaving right now. It's got the same promise uh, of an uptrend beginning at some point one day. Uh, on the long-term time frames and based on tether uh, we could be already reached out we could have already reached our low so this could be the low so when it comes to i suppose uh, sifting through the altcoins right now there is a giant uh, question mark about you know whether altcoins are even ready to do anything you know for the next few months or so Bitcoin, slightly different story. Uh, Bitcoin is the only thing that has the fundamentals to push it through this tricky time in the economy and geopolitical events. You know, it, it, it does come with that little, you know, 
false promise or promise or whatever you want to call it, which is that it could be seen as digital gold and uh, and and a hedge against inflation, which obviously we're we're a problem with. But what we do recognise is that the Nasdaq is effectively you know, leading the charge and Bitcoin's the afterthought. And if we think about both Bitcoin and Nasdaq, we're, we're below the 20 weekly, which suggests that, yeah, this, you know, re regardless of this nice bullish engulfing candle on the weekly, which is very reassuring for Nasdaq and probably will continue, to be honest, uh, until we reclaim these zones. Uh, so our center of the Bollinger Band on the weekly there, 20 weekly. And for Bitcoin, our 20 weekly is about 45,000 from what I remember now. It's obviously coming down every week. So yeah, it's about 46,000 at the moment. And obviously when this week begins, you know, closes and begins you know, tomorrow, it will be lower because it's quite a steep curve going on here. Um, so yeah, what we'd be thinking about would be, um, we can't really go particularly major bullish until we reclaim these zones. So altcoins are an afterthought of Bitcoin, which is an afterthought of NASDAQ and traditional markets. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that buying altcoins now is a bad idea. It could be the best idea. Um, it just means that I, I strongly feel as though we might get little alt rallies here, there and everywhere. And you might be lucky and get on, on, on the right side of a specific altcoin, which actually you know does a significant rally during this period. That's that's fine that's that, that that can happen obviously but for the market the altcoin market to rally uh, as one and create an alt season i don't think it's ready for that yet i think we'll be looking for something along that uh, those lines maybe into the summer or maybe a bit beyond but trying to you know you know predict what's going on that far in the future based on the technicals that we've got right now it's going to be very difficult we monitor things bit by bit one day one week at a time but I'm into uh, I'm into ICP. I like the way it looks now, um, and you know it's got the same read that it's had forever on the weekly, which makes it very difficult to spot a low. But at least this time round, we've found that there is a consolidation, which appears to have ended. Uh, however, we could easily you know come back down to its previous low, and if we did, that would be a good thing, uh, and I would be uh, I'd be willing to buy more, <laughs> even more ICP. Right, I'm going to leave it with you there, guys. There's nothing really much more to say about it. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.